trying to get video of Midas following me down the road and I almost stepped right on this thing. Midas, look at it. It's a garter snake. <laughs> get him, Midas. So this here is turkey tail or I think it's called Tremedes first color, something like that. This is a good medicinal fungus. So I'm going to take some of this home. It comes in lots of different color variations, which is why they, I guess, call it Versicolor. And it's pretty common here where I live. So today I'm out in the woods again because I live for this. Here is what looks to be some more turkey tail and slightly different color variation. We'll have to check the back just to make sure. Okay. And it looks like turkey tail. So I'm actually out in the woods today looking for some more um, chanterelles. I found a few last week. They were on the small side. Chanterelle minor. Chanterella minor, something like that. And I found pretty good size handful I was going to try and then I didn't so I'm hoping I can find a few more before they quit flushing and I just found something that is close to the color of them but I'm not sure if it is so we're going to take a look at that. This is the color of the ones I've been finding but they were not growing off of a log like these. This is not a chanterelle. So here's a great example of what looks like a turkey tail. It's got the same kind of um, look to it, although it's it's not very colorful. But if you look at the bottom, this has gills, whereas the turkey tail has pores. Look, 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 look. Okay, so this looks like an old man of the woods. So yeah, it looks like a small old man in the woods. You can tell from the shaggy black gray cap. It's in the bolete family, which means it's a polypore. And the pore surface is also gray, staining to black. Here's a first edible find of the day. Two things here I'm unsure of. This little guy has, I guess, like a toothy top instead of a toothy underneath. It's a polypore. And then this guy is a Q-tip. I thought it was a mushroom. It's a, another example of a false turkey tail. This one looks exactly like the last one I showed you, almost. Except this one has teeth, or what they call teeth. Woods that I'm in, I believe, belong to the land belongs to this scrapyard. They have like it's not just a scrapyard; it's like the scrapyard's graveyard, way back here in the back. And pretty cool stuff. See what this guy is? Looks like a bulby from the top. Nice and sturdy. It's not a bulby. And I'd... find these quite often. Not a hundred percent sure on what they are, but they are kind of nice to find. Here is some coral fungus. Recently learned there's so many types of this and they're so difficult to tell apart that it's kind of pointless to even try. Pretty sure I just came up on somebody's backyard unintentionally. They had a nice little pond and a did boat. I left myself a marker so I can find my way out of here. Left my drink somewhere. I gotta go find all my. Look at all these boats and stuff. Like just. Another one. A bunch of trailers. All this abandoned. I say abandoned. It's in the very, 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 very back of an old junkyard. And I highly doubt anybody comes out here. Anyway, 
gotta find my stuff so I can get out of here. Okay, one more turkey tail look-alike. So this one looks a lot like the others. To flip it over, it has neither gills nor pores or teeth. These are ridges. Found another that looks very similar to the two others I've showed you recently. But the difference here is the gray smooth surface on the back. So many different kinds of mushroom fungus and it would take more than a lifetime to learn everything. But this is why I've been studying for years now just to be completely confident in a few things that I like to find. Found my thing, walked straight through a spider web. This is not something I ever thought I would see. Fallen tree, and you see an earthworm trying to dig into the trunk. That's just weird, guy. What are you doing? I found a bunch of these, and I think they may be edible, but again, I've only studied, very closely studied, certain ones. And if these are part of the Belit family, Belits are very difficult to distinguish from one another and can be potentially very dangerous. So these guys are growing in a clump. They have yellow cream-colored mycelium, yellow poured Belits. They look like they would be one of the safe kind, but I'm not sure. Maybe somebody else will know. There are plenty more growing up around the base of this little treeling. And these are in various varying stages of development. Let's check out these guys. Now, I don't know what kind of tree this is. Uh, I thought these guys were like super old because of their color. But it looks like they're relatively good. There's a little, looks like a reishi growing, but I don't know for sure. So this, let's take a look at this. So it's a polypore. Um, I mean, you can tell by all the holes in this underside and uh, all the pores are is just tubes so that's all the little probably millions of tubes there very cool looking see if it stains any color doesn't look like it hmm. it's like something was maybe growing here I don't know if it fell off or someone cut it off or oh wow so that's just like spores of whatever was living there. Here are some more of those ginormous, like I think they're called shelf fungi or uh, bracket fungus. It is in beautiful shape underneath. Gorgeous. If this was reishi, I would be taking it home, but I'm not. Just not sure. Now I'm gonna try this. It's supposed to look like varnish when it gets wet. I don't know. It's got a yellow outer edge and a brown on top, which means it is not not a chicken. And it's also not the same as the ones growing on the other side. It has a different underside there. I'll try and figure out what in the world this is. That's interesting. And I saw some growth here. Yeah, here we go. This is also a tooth fungus. Okay, I found out what it is. It's just a puffball. You can see the spores. Look at them. Now, it does do this on its own, but you can help spread <laughs> all those spores. <laughs> Just found another old man in the woods. Mushrooms are just so cool.
one's got like a brown velvety back to it. I've never found so many of these in one day. <laughs> I keep not taking them because I'm like, eh, it's not enough to do anything with, but then I keep finding them, and this is a good size one. Now, I know there are some look-alikes to this. I'm pretty confident that I know what I'm talking about <laughs> when it comes to these. There's also a call, uh, something called a pineapple bolete that will look white with a sort of pink tint to it, and supposedly it is one of the best bolets out there. Oh, this is mycelium. This is what mushrooms grow from. That is also mycelium. Eventually, we'll have some mushrooms coming from there. Thought it was going to get warmer as the day went on. No, no. It's definitely getting colder. I'm freezing, but I don't want to leave the woods yet. <laughs> There's so much more to find. I'm just so fascinated by the fact that you, you, you can think that you know what you're looking at. And then you realize you have no clue. <laughs> That's not what I would have expected to see on the underside of this at all. I always get really excited when I see bright yellow on the floor of the woods, but this again is not my chanterelle. You know, some of these are very dangerous. Only if consumed, and by consumed, I mean you actually have to eat, swallow, and start the digestion process. Most all of the mushrooms that you see out here can be tasted safely. You take a small bite, which I'm not going to do because I'm weird. I don't even like mushrooms, but I'm willing to try them um, cooked. So you would take a small bite, chew it up, see if it's bitter or sweet or anything like that. And then you spit it out. All of them are safe like that. So it's getting late. I'm getting colder and colder. I'm going to keep looking around. <laughs> I think I just found something that, from my understanding, is quite rare. Very big. Oh my goodness, bug eaten, but it is the green. It looks like a green rustla. Very bug riddled. Get it. <laughs> I love it. Awesome, awesome find. I talk to myself a lot, you guys. Even when the camera's not on, I'm having conversations with myself, so don't feel weird about it. All right, so could be a court probably is. I like the shiny cap surface. Pretty cool. There's another purple guy. Alright, so I'm back out in the woods. Uh, slightly different location, but same area. A few days later, and I finally found what I've been looking for. See those beautiful golden yellow mushrooms? They don't seem to get as big here as they do elsewhere, but I will take them. This is a chanterelle. It smells sweet. So pretty. So sweet. At least we'll get to try them finally.